these days you have to be very careful which of your personal affairs you go online, go tweet. That's what one guy go tweet. Say he say he say when I somebody ask somebody ask yeah, you folks are married. Are you are you enjoying it or is there the girl reply say ah when I met my husband, you know he was so broke. He uh, said he, I, he, said he was you. so broke. He was so broke. My family didn't even believe we could make it. He said uh, fast forward fast forward four years. I mean five years. We we now have ah somebody say look ah. at it. He, he no, was so no, no, no. broke. Now it has become we now have you see it when he was broke. It's only if that's broke. It's not we were so broke. broke. Now I don't say we. <laughs> now once then clear the girl. She be there. You know when she they when she they type the tweet. You know they type her. Now once then clear and say, oh, we have seen you for what you are. Yes, sir. <laughs> In a compound fool. <laughs> you get somebody say say egg hey, one fifty naira. Say now pressure is far take but <laughs> bro. In the midst, yes. Yeah, that's bro. What, that's what person say. I, sometimes I wonder. Say those of you that want to toast a babe, and the first thing you talk, the first thing you say is is yeah, your salary you earn in a month. That player you now one time. <laughs> that player, you know, I even a player. Can I sign on fee? Can I sign on fee? Right. One time top striker. Right. Now wow. So when I put when I put when I put uh, school school, you want know, to strike that. Now there we go. You did. <laughs> oh my god. Is that where our school was. So uh, hey, you didn't take me. You didn't take me. I do you know guy I'm not lucky. I like you now we go for a coach. Where was school day? A coach now we go school. School day for a better. A better. Yes sir. You go there. It's the same way. You did for you did for lucky. You they see babes all of them they fall for each other. Now when you want meet a parent, they'll carry you go uh, 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 after a blue egg, bro. Uh, <laughs> go back. Somebody ask somebody ask for Twitter. Somebody say say a man has two wives. The first wife is very good at cooking. The other one is very good in bed. Question: Who owns the man's heart? Who? <laughs> 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 Who was, who was the man's heart? I mean, I mean, I wonder. Nigeria, Nigeria's fucking nonsense. This country, we ask you that one, bro. Nigeria is the crazy guy. That's why I see Arsenal. That's why I see Arsenal. Uh, this is they, they put elephant on top tree. They say the elephant on the top on top of the tree. Season two. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Oh yeah, bro. That's one of the funniest memes uh, in football ever. That elephant on top of the tree. <laughs> Bro, they, say, they 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 say, no, no. But it's right, yeah. Guys, that's so, that's all these people. Oh. Chelsea, Twitter handle, go tweet, uh, bro, and code. Did they play, did they play, did they play, did they play FIFA? See Chelsea fans for comments. So, you know, that, uh, that bona boy, that bona boy, and his friend meme. <laughs> when they look at the camera like this, nobody posts and say, ah! We're finished. What's going on here? <laughs> he says, Oh, this is what you probably be doing. This is what you come the weekend now, come and play nonsense. Bro. Um, yeah. Is a, is a... Speak, speak, so, speaking of which, I, I was watching, uh, I think it was big before yesterday. I was watching uh, the England's women's coach. They were asking her something about, you know, they just uh, the press and she was talking about Bonner Boy. So I'm like, I don't have to be people. Like this, these boys have become so big. Like now, these boys have become so big. I was watching by uh, this uh, Barca left back, uh, Balde. They asked him a favorite guy. He said Bonner Boy. I'm like, how did these yeah. boys get so pop popular? Like those boys, singing no, proper man, Nigerian man, songs. Nah, boy, they those boys, uh, no. Nah, African music is the center of everything now. No, so now, why they won't charge you like, in dollars for show for Lagos? You know, no that's place. it. That's it, man. I see it, 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 you know, you don't see that with Modu Black. You don't see that with Modu Black. We don't go, go meet Declara. He say, he say the, the song was not about that time. What are you doing in the stadium, <laughs> idiot? What are, what, what are you in the stadium? Why you don't talk about that? He said the song is not about that. You don't talk about that. 
<laughs> he put my page say, my boy gave me his one jersey. First of all, comment. Now, wow, you get big mouth, though. First of all, make you blow. Don't tell your boy. First of all, make you blow. Don't tell your boy. You see how, you see how like... <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, as a man, girl. You don't see this on the most you saw recently, way that they drag out. Say, you talk one thing about women. Say, he's calling women this, yeah. calling women that. Hey. Oh. Most, the girl, where they drag out. Or the most, call it, drag the girl back. Somebody go on that, or the most, the comments. What did you just say? <laughs> My guy, you know they do more than the tender do. That's the guy. Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh my God. Don't follow, follow Nigerians like this. Carefully like you. Guy. Oh, yeah. That's why I don't see one. I don't see one this morning now. He say, he say, please, I take my, I take my, I take back my pledge to the country. Ogu kill heroes past. Ogu kill heroes past. Heroes past, you know? They don't get foresight. We don't need them. We don't need them. I pledge oh my I God. I take back my pledge. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, one babe tweet say, they put, they put my pop picture for the meme. He say, say I, I say, I love my boyfriend, but there's something about you. He say, there's nothing about you, Ashawu. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing about you, Ashawu. Ah. What's about the person? <laughs> you didn't find money. You said no. something about me. The one where the one, the one, it's on a meme, eh? but it ain't, it ain't true. You say, say, so we all came down from heaven to fight to go back into heaven. <laughs> say the story, you know, you know, clear. You know, you get that. <laughs> you, you get know, that. You know, clear. We, but we didn't have, we didn't have him before. I mean, we are. Where's that going by for you? Again, <laughs> don't come down. Oh, no, I mean, only help us out. You don't enter. <laughs> you don't enter. You yeah. don't enter. He says, Someone say, 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 rain is falling. I beg, in your bed, answer because only an in you are the like the father's in the house. Rain they fall, and your child tell you, say, Daddy, come inside before thunder fire you. Is that insult <laughs> or is that care? <laughs> See, I said to God, that picky don't be tough for two days. Two days. You must learn how to address people. Two days, you don't be tough. <laughs> but you cannot talk anything bad now. No, 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 no. Me said, I don't do anything bad. By himself, <laughs> make sure that don't fire you. Make sure that don't fire you. Is it? <laughs> you too. Chop up your mouth. Make a video key. Oh my god. That's so that's what they say. You say they say your boss will tell you say 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 this food you're eating. Say you don't know that that's a food that don't that that have food but they cannot eat. Say take me there. <laughs> say, say some have food but they cannot eat. Say take me to that place. That place where they get food where they picture up and say I want I want to be there. So yeah, it's a meeting boy already. So that man was like a father to us. Yeah. Worry. Well, like a father to us, I don't be like. <laughs> see that guy who on I see on I see that skit. That guy who buy suya. They sell the suya for him. They sell the suya for him. He tell the abuki. Oga pack up, pack up. The guy say no, make I put pepper now. Say which pepper you want? Me? <laughs> you know, pepper is inside already now. The guy say no, see him, see him. See, I never put pepper. Make I put pepper. He said, Ah, I beg you. You know, she said pepper is inside already. The newspaper where they put it here. Picture of your current president. He said, You know, she said pepper is inside. You want to add pepper, join the pepper with it. You want to <laughs> oh, so, oh, oh. buy it. Again. The pepper where they, where this one they show us. You never use. I don't buy again. I don't need to buy again. <laughs> don't buy again. Ah, no time, Baba. <laughs> no time. Is it. Is it. A job interview. They ask. They ask for a job interview. Say, say, don't be afraid to ask for anything. He say, okay. Say, I want to ask something. He say, go ahead. He say, who is dating that girl in reception? <laughs> <laughs> that day, go go, we go hire you, we fire you back. <laughs> say, don't be afraid. To ask us anything you want to ask. <laughs> who is that girl? You don't come up, go ask the girl. They ask people where they interview you. <laughs> like, I, I want to hear 
Someone, let's let's start the show. Say, say, I want to hear the Lamba when Nigerian pastors want to leave us. They do it cause overnight. You get. They, <laughs> they put Sabine's picture, but Sabine, they look like this. Oh, let's start, man. This uh, Kipa Onana, you know, bros, <laughs> I have had enough of Onana. Personally, I think that he will not make it at United. I don't think he'll make it. You know, um, there, are, there are only so I mean, many mistakes you can make. Um, and it, it just feels like, it feels like just at the point where he's trying to get better, you know, this mistake has come again. And what I personally believe is that, you know, the manager can only put out so many fires at a time. You know, so if the manager is in a strong position, right, and they're winning games and, you know, your mistakes are not costly, it's easy for the manager to defend you. But I think that, I think that, you know, in a football game, you know, a player makes the first tackle. The referee tells him, you know, you know, let's keep it clean today, keep it nice, keep it healthy, make second tackle, referee will come, stand warning, last warning. I feel like he has only one mistake in him again, man. Anyone, and... and and for a goalkeeper, you know, that was, was the same thing we spoke about Ramsdale and um and and David Raya. A goalkeeper cannot, all the players on the pitch eh, can play within themselves or can afford to once in a while, you know, second guess themselves. Goalkeepers cannot do it. Right? Because it's a slippery slope. The moment a goalkeeper starts to play within himself, you know, is in his head, then you are going to make more mistakes than you naturally make, right? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I think that, you know, I, I don't, honestly, I don't see a way back on Nana. I don't see a way back, you know. Um, if, if the season were, if the season were, were finishing, you know, people would have had that, oh, season on the finish, so let's write it off and all that kind of stuff. Bro, the season is just entering second gear. You understand? And I don't see how, like, the games are too intense. Like, the intensity is going to go up over the next couple of weeks. The games will become more expensive. The points will become more costly, you know. So, it's almost a very, like, that, that beginning of season, you know, I could make a case for him. You know, he's just coming. Nah, nah, nah. But, man, one more mistake, man. That's that's it. That's it for me, you know. More so, um, yeah, to the have fun. Mm, yeah. yeah, and... It's quite astonishing, uh, to to be honest, because I, I I don't think he's a bad goalkeeper, and I I've not seen him, you know, from his days at Ajax and Inter Milan, I've not seen him make the amounts of mistakes he's made at United. You know, the number of mistakes in one season, I've not seen. You don't him watch him enough. You don't watch him. I've watched him enough, actually. I, I, I watched, I watched, you don't. I, I watched if you him. Did, if you did, you would have seen a couple mistakes that season. That of, Tottenham of course, came back in the semi final. He made. Mistakes too. You can make a couple. You can make a couple of mistakes. He hasn't made a couple of mistakes. He has made a string of mistakes. <laughs> not one. Not two. Not three. <laughs> not four. Not five. Even even the ones that were not costly, even the ones that didn't result in a goal, he's made far too many mistakes for a goalkeeper of his quality. And I think he's a very good goalkeeper. I think apart from his his ability to play. You know, he's got great uh, 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 reflexes and he, he's a very good goalkeeper. What I can take from what is happening to him is I see a guy who is a bit overconfident. I think I see a guy who is possibly, possibly thinking I'm probably the best at this thing. And 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 so, sometimes as, as a player, there's nothing wrong in having, you know, incredible self-belief. There's something wrong when you're getting sloppy, you know, Position wise, for instance, he cost United the game on 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 Tuesday. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? The first goal, people are talking about the the free kick, the second goal. I personally think that the first goal he considered, the first free kick, the Z goal, was a worse mistake than the second one. The second one, you can say, came through a, a sea of bodies. He, he, he maybe wrong footed him. Maybe he wasn't quite sure. But this, the first one, I thought it was an absolute howl. I don't know why people are not talking about it. You set up a wall to defend a particular part of the post. 
and you step on the other side so that if the ball is whipped in the direction of the wall, the wall will block it. If it comes to where you're standing, you will catch it easily. They kick the ball. You move away from that position and go behind the wall. That, that, that is dreadful goalkeeping. I, I mean, I said, like, what, what is he doing? What is I, he doing? I, I, and I totally agree with you, B. I don't think there's a way back, honestly. Except he has to perform consistently for, for another three, four, five months. Because the more you're doing this, because it's always been, oh, Maguire is not playing well. Oh, Lindelof is not playing well. And credit to those two players, I think they've been one of United's steady players in the past few weeks. They've been very steady, Maguire and Lindelof. But the goalkeeper is... And, and there's nothing as terrible as having a goalkeeper who is not confident behind you. <clears throat> so, a goalkeeper... So I think, uh, a goalkeeper that is not... You see, my problem with Nana is Nana makes the hard saves and less than the easy ones, right? A yeah, goalkeeper on, yeah, on exactly. Tattoo, see, a goalkeeper sends shock waves to a stadium, right? So right now, eh, right now, every time there's an attempt on goal, right, the players eh, are worried. Is there something about? It's like it's like sending a is like sending a, a a shock, you know, like an EMP charge, right, across the team. The team is going to constantly be on the edge. <laughs> You understand? Mm. As a result, the team cannot... I felt like the Galatasaray game, right, was the one game this season where every single United player scored a 7 over 10. Right? It, mm. was going to yeah. be, it was going to be the real turning point of the season. Because this is what you dream about, right? When Barcelona... When, when Liverpool went to, to, to Roma, you know, I, be, I, I think it was Roma went to uh, Barcelona... You dream about oh you need a you need a good start. You go one nil, two nil, right? It was the same thing with Lois Carriers at Liverpool at the time. Liverpool team started flying, you know, started picking up momentum, started scoring goals. But they had that thing in, in the goal that was just unsettling, right? And ultimately they have a goal. You see, a team can can cope with it. You can you can have a bad center back, you know. Liverpool had uh, what's his name? Had uh, what's the guy's name? They, they are Lovren, you know, good centre back, but has a couple of mistakes in him, right? But you can patch it up. You can patch it. You can patch it. You can say, you know what? Okay, when the ball comes in, I want this defensive midfielder to be in front of him to sweep up any mistake he can make. <laughs> you can say, you know what? Right back, because I don't not I don't trust this guy so much. Be close to him always. Don't go. You know, you can goalkeeper. You can you can you can you can't legislate for it. You know, I think, and I, I think that I think, I think that that's what he's about to take off. He is the he is the excess luggage almost, and it is a position that the manager cannot afford to make. You know, and credit to Ten Hag for for trying to shield him and cover him up and you know and everything. I don't know if you saw the interview between Ten Hag and and Peter Schumacher. You know, Schumacher, you know, as a goalkeeper, actually wanted to call him out, like you know, like you are saying, the team makes mistakes. We win together and we lose together. We defend together and we attack together. But these are individual mistakes that you have to cover in the team. And then I try to co cover it up. You know, so when, when a guy like Schumacher is going after, I think, I think, I think what he said is very important. For me, there are two things. It's either overconfidence or a lack of absolute concentration to operate at the top. You know, I, I, I honestly just feel like, you know, I've always, in my opinion, I've always questioned Onana's short stopping abilities. I mean, when you I think excellent goalkeeper in terms of, you know, a guy that's confident, that speaks, that, you know, but in terms of short stopping, you know, and, and I said it before, he would, uh, decent. And I think that some of the goals like, some of the goals that he has considered, in my opinion, overconfidence or whatever it is, can only be logically explained by, by lack of some fundamental goalkeeping qualities. Because like you said, Amy, the first goal, there is no way, because you set the wall up in a way that you trust that the free kick taker has to play one of the best free kicks of his career to beat the wall. That's the way you set up the wall. In your mind, you've got players in your team that are tall that you expect also to jump. So you are setting up the wall in a way that 
uh, 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 you are setting up the wall in a way that the free kick taker has to be super excellent to beat that wall. Then you come outside of the wall, have a line of sight to the ball. Under no circumstance should you set the wall up in a way that you don't see the ball at the time the ball is being kicked. If you don't see the ball when the ball is being kicked, I think it is actually grounds for being thrown out of the team because that is the most fundamental principle of goalkeeping or uh, 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 keeping a, 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 a free kick or a set piece. So that's why considering that first goal is very abysmal. And, and I thought about it. I saw something that Sony posted on Twitter and I, I, I thought about that. I felt, well, I sort of agree because... I also mentioned it where Onana was going to join United that look, Onana can change completely how United play from the back. You know, that balance, being able to really, really play out and, and retain possession. And right after Onana has come in, Ten Hag has had interviews and he's gone. I'm not looking to replicate what we did at, at Ajax because we've got different players here. We're not looking to do the same thing. So now I'm asking the question. You have, you've got to ask the question. If you're not looking to replicate that play, what's the point of Onana? Because Onana is not a better shot stopper than De Gea. He's not, he's not going to be close. He never will be close. So if the point is not to replicate that, oh, we play, we retain the ball, we, what's the point of bringing Onana in? Because the only, play, the only phase of play or the only element of play that Onana trumps the gear is playing. No, that's it's, that's it's, that's it's what I'm So so that that's that's what that's what I disagree. You see, people 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 underestimate people people overestimate, you know, the what they what they are looking at, right? Playing out from the back, right, is a simple when when you want to break it down to the to the barest minimum, it is just it is not about the goalkeeper, right? Playing out from the back. Now all the goalkeeper needs to do right is to have the ability right to find the extra pass that's all a goalkeeper's job in the idea of playing up on the back is entails right no 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 listen go to the goalkeepers that are doing it that's not what that's not what listen listen even allison that's not so good that's not what he does listen allison doesn't allison is not the best at playing from the back Alison's best skill is being a sweeper. Yes. Right. Alison is not Alison is not top two in the Premier League in playing from the back. Right. Did you watch the last game against um the last game that Liverpool the the, the, the Master game? You, you know how many times you know he was he was he was caught out. You know. Alison. Alison makes mistakes. The point I'm saying is that. You Hold said on. that the only thing the goalkeeper should be able to do in this play now from the bar we're talking about is to find the other whatever pass you mentioned. That's what I'm that's what I'm disagreeing with. Alison will always listen. make mistakes. Alison makes mistakes in trying to play out. So, from the so basically, let listen to, to, Hold to on, come on, in. On. I, I think that when 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 David Raya was explaining it after the the Man City game where he was he was a bag of nerves. So basically. The, the explanation was goalkeepers who play out from the back who are very good with the ball at their feet. The job they have one job: draw the opponent closer and we beat them from there. And it's we beat them. That, that's the point. What, what, what did I say? Just draw what did I say? The... No, you said that the job is to be able to find that's, that's the odd pass or whatever. It's, it's I better. said, I said the goalkeeper's main job in playing out from the back, right, is the ability to find the extra pass, right. And it's the same thing he has said. The job no, is not the same thing. It listen, it's not the same listen. thing. You can't Go say that. Please. Go. The job is the job. The job is you have a press, right? You have a press. The team always has an extra man. Your job eh, is to resist that press, resist that urge to lose off the ball, and find the extra man that is free. That's the goalkeeper's job. From there, it's done. Let no, me tell you, first of all, right? First of all, I think that 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 makes sense. That that no, makes no, sense no, because no, it, no, what no, you have no, said, when, when, what when, you have said, when, 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 anyway, when, anyway, anyway, okay, what okay, you have said no. now is different from what you said before. No, what you said I just, before I just is different from what you said. Now, having said that, 
the goalkeeper being able to play from the back also is very integral to the team's ball retention, possession retention. It is very integral. Yeah. It's not just about you, you find a pass, you find a pass. That's why the goalkeepers are very comfortable on the ball when the team can when it when they can transition forward, they are okay with going back to their goalkeeper and resetting because they know that the goalkeeper is not going to panic and play a wayward pass. You are going to settle it down and play it again. Ederson does there's a pass Ederson played to Bernardo Silva, was it before him? I can't remember. In the game against Liverpool, right? Yeah. I, know I that promise ball. you, I know that, that pass. Ball. This listen. is not just, oh, find that. No, you can't say that. Oh, the job, that's what I disagree with. Listen, listen. Oh, the, the listen. job of the goalkeeper playing out from right is to find that. Oh, no, 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 no. The goal is a I've, whole I've, lot more than that. I've said what I've said, right? Now, if you go back to your, to your point you're making, your point you're making goes back to the point I made already. Because when the team, the, the, the only reason to go back to the goalkeeper, right, to reset the play, right, is because you have run into a stumbling block and you find that the team that you have run into are in their shape. So the whole idea of recycling is to bring them back out, right, to play in, through them. Now, the importance of the team having receivers cannot be underestimated. When you speak yeah. about Massey, right, David, David, um, Bernardo Silva in the Man City team, right, is probably more integral, right, to receiving play. Receiving play. Receiving. Key, key word, receiving play, than Rodri. Now, Rodri, Rodri is ball secure in terms of he can see where everybody is. But if Rodri, you watch... Rodri what, is more important in the first place. So once you get past the first up. place, Bernardo Silva is more important. When you watch, no. The way Pep plays now, right, Bernardo Silva is sometimes the deepest midfielder when he's receiving the ball. Go and look at it. Uh, if you are the deepest, you are the most important now. But when, right. when you play the game there is over no, the there is no, There is no better manipulator of the ball in Masti than David Silva. So he comes in, he takes the ball on the half turn. You know, he can, he can swivel. Rodri is more, is more recycling. Recycling, when he can see everything. So that's, that's two. That's two. It's, like, it's, like a, it's like a jigsaw, right? This is the fourth part. And this is the part that God's coming to it. So the goalkeeper is important, but who is receiving the ball? Those are the people that retain play, retain position. Now, when Onana was brought in, yeah. Martinez is the most ball secure center back United have. Right? Now, the person you pass the ball to must understand where to take the ball to from there. Right? The next most ball secure set, uh, defender United have is Luke Shaw. Right? Now those two players have been injured all season. So when you make the when you make the tweet and say you haven't seen why they brought him in, of course you cannot see why they brought him in. Now I'm not holding brief for Nana, right? But what I'm saying is that it has been impossible for United to create what you, what uh, Dutch people call automatisms, because just as he has come in, the other parts that were already working have been taken out. So that's my that's my. That's my analysis on, on, on Onana. You know, let's let's move on to from from from, from okay. Onana. Um, you know, I I want I want to speak about um this this uh, uh scene based thing in football, which I'm I'm seeing. You know, and I don't know, man. You know, this is why this is why you have to decentralize. You know, this IFAB. If you look at the IFAB board, it's made of the guys in Scotland. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna confirm. Um, IFAB. Right. The IFAB guys, right, are made up of, um, let's see, what countries make up IFAB? Um, I think the FA, the English FA is there. Uh, I think the Scotland, F, Scottish FA is, FA is there. Um, but I think these guys are going to destroy the game for everybody, man. These guys are <laughs> going to Absolutely destroy this game for everybody. Um, I have members. So I found it made up of England, England's uh, FA, Scotland's FA, the Wales FA, and Northern Ireland. Right, 
all of them have a vote each and FIFA have a vote as well, right? And I just find it, I find it absolutely ridiculous. The, I was just, I was just trying to read out the IFAB, um, the IFAB thing. So IFAB is comprised of four British football stations, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, right? With one vote each and FIFA covering the remaining 207 national systems with four votes, you know, with, with, with four votes. Now, in this way, we all have five bodies ensuring that the laws are preserved, respecting football's tradition, as well as its international reality. Passing a motion requires a three-quarter majority. Now, the three-quarter majority, is that not if, if, the, if, um, if uh, England, Wales, Ireland say, is that not a three-quarter? You know, I think that this is ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. This sin being thing uh, is the most ridiculous news I've seen. You know, and it's like that tone deaf. Like the game is just the game is just beginning to grapple with, you know, the right way to implement VR, right? And offsides and all this nonsense. And instead of focusing on how you're going to solve that problem, that problem, your focus is on bringing in sin beans into the game. How does and, this, how would this, how how is the sim being going to work? You yeah. know, so the sim beans thing, right? Is they basically want to have, you know, a player instead of setting up the player for descent, the player would go stay stay out for ten minutes, right? While the team play with a man less, right? And I'm like, instead of instead of figuring out, you know, how to Enhance communication with players, right? And make the right because 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 the sense is actually a the sense is one bad behavior, which I think if you if you step if you step out of line, you should be yellow carded, whatever it is. And you know that ah, and my mouth going for trouble. But what I've seen happen with the sense these days, and why they've said you know what maybe we need something else not to punish the player, and ultimately to take the player out. Is because the referees want to not be spoken to. Some people have had the idea that the referees must must not be talked back at, right? And I understand that the referees must be respected in the game, and that's that's fine, you know, because they are part of the game. It's not an easy job to, you know, moderate for twenty-two players, you know, plus managers. It's not easy, and the crowd. It's not easy. But if you're going to be in football, and you don't have the thick skin and the understanding to carry some load, then it should not be in the game. It shouldn't be in the game. Right? This thing, eh? Sorry, this thing, this thing, I, I, what, first of all, I don't agree with you with the referee thing. And I feel like if we look at the football ecosystem, the only people that I think talking to them, talking back at them, criticizing them when they don't do well, is somehow seen as a bad thing is the referees only the referees if it's any other person they pick and choose when to protect or when not because you are you are first of all there are hundreds and whatever there are millions of people who want to get into professional football they're not, not a lot of people are going to get into it 0 0.51 percent of the population Less than one percent are even going to ever get there. What that means is that you are operating at the highest, highest level. The level, the set of people that should be officiating there also should be the highest possible level in terms of professionalism, in terms of performance, and in terms of know-how. Right? So what I and that's why I agree with you, B, because what I found is that referees now want to use these rules to protect their egos. That's what I think is happening now. Yeah. Oh, these players, these are things you can talk to me and yeah, take a yellow card. These are things, why would you, why are you, are you, are you, you, are, you, are, you are a child. You are behaving like a, like a sport child. Take a red card. That's what I think is happening now. Because referees go into game now and try to police players' moral behaviors. You understand? No longer, oh, this is the rule of the game. How does it affect the game? What is it? No longer that. It is now 
Oh, he are behaving like he's behaving like his fourth child. Right? I would say that. A case in point. And I, 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 very about funny. It. I'm telling you, you when but it's true, but it's true. The red card that Miss James got against Newcastle, very silly mis silly mistakes for the two yellow cards, honestly. But you see, the first yellow card he got, in my opinion, how does that help the game? The only person that I see that that sort of yellow card helps is the referee. Okay, I get that if you get a foul called against you, you can't kick the ball away. It's a yellow card. Right. But go and look at the yellow card again. He's trying to dribble past someone. A foul has been called. Re James probably didn't kick that ball. Probably didn't kick. He didn't touch that ball for the ball. Probably didn't travel for more than maybe 20. I, I don't, and he gets a yellow card. It was in the heat of the game. Football no, is but, the but most emotional. Fact, what, what, wait, wait, what wait. They, wait. In, in what, what they said. No, no, hold on. Let me. What they said was that you are stopping. The plate from restarting. That is a you don't understand what I mean. If, in it, in it, in it. if a foul is called against you mm. and the opposition player picks the ball and boom, ready to start play, and you immediately go and stand in front of it or you kick it a little bit away so that they don't restart, that is a yellow card. Or you immediately stand in front of the ball, the opposition player kicks it against you, that's a yellow card. You are stopping. You are stopping from the play being restarted. You get what I mean? Mm. But when you are in play, you have the ball. You are playing the ball. And there's a foul against you. And immediately there's a foul against you. It's the it's heat of the moment thing. It's not a case of oh, the, the play is about to restart. You are playing the game. There's a foul against you. Even before the foul was called, you are trying to dribble past someone. The foul is called. You touch the ball and look back. The ball hasn't even yeah. traveled 10 minutes. I don't understand. So that's what I mean by referees are now trying to protect so their schools. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if you saw the interview that um, Colina gave. I don't know if can you hear me, guys? Yeah, right. yeah, we yeah. Can. The interview that Colina gave. Colina said that um, you know, it was before the France Brazil final, something like that, that he when he got the brief that he was going to do the game, he two weeks he locked himself in his house, you know, and was watching you know past France games, Brazil games, that kind of thing. And when he finished, he was fully informed on every player's behavior. Behavior. You understand? And, and he could tell what was being petulant, what was being competitive, mm. what was being in the moment, what was just being emotion. So he could understand all those things in the game. Now, what I find that the referees want to do now, they want to use the same size fits all for every single player. Right? And no two players are alike. Right? So you mentioned something about like, oh, a game is happening and somebody... You know, you run a guy and stand in front of um, you maybe the ball goes out for a throwing and you go out and stand in front of the ball to make sure that they don't yeah. throw the ball. Away. Sometimes, bro, eh, sometimes that is just down to tactical, like your team is out of shape, right? And yep, you're yep. just making that extra one split second. The referee should be able to read and understand, oh, this guy's just being competitive, he's not trying to be petulant. There is a very thin line between disrespecting the game, you yeah. know, your position and fans. And I think that the referees want to be lazy. So when you say, "Oh, you want to bring in sin beans," the is the game on? Is the game already not ruined already as it is? <laughs> that, that is ridiculous. <laughs> it is ridiculous. To what end? Sin beans that is, for what? Sin beans People want to destroy the game. Is what I always say. This new rule that you are bringing, how does it enhance the quality of the game on show? How? Does it benefit the game, right? Mm. And 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 you know you know why I got you know why I got convinced about this the, the, the behavior of referees. It was it was when my dean started going on TV, and I saw <laughs> no no no. And it's, I saw, it, 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 it's had too much to say, and I it's not it's not about having it's not about what he has said. He being on TV has shown his personality. It's not about what he has said. It's about how he has said it. It's about his countenance, his mm. tone, his body language. Is that, did you see that back and forth between him and Paul Mason? 
Yeah, yeah, I don't know if yeah. Paul yeah. Mason was saying the decision, the decision has altered, you know, the the result of a game. And you are you are you are talking about it like it's just you know it's just you know it's just it's just one of those things. Are you do you understand the gravity of what it is? And Mike Dean said, "Well, well, you can you can keep you can keep waffling on. I don't care what you." That I'm telling you is the personality I'm talking about. That's what I mean by arrogance. This, arrogance. The arrogance. The sheer arrogance. So these referees go into games now, wanting to stamp their authority as opposed yeah. to wanting to actually moderate and officiate the game. You know, there's a difference between... And, and, and before, this point you're making, you know, so many referees, I, I, I totally agree. The referee game, I, I said, I think, I think a few years ago, I said it on the TV show that referees are becoming so arrogant and we're not seeing it. You know, yeah. this thing you just mentioned, this wanting to be this the star of the show. Referees never wanted to be stars of the show. Referees yeah. just wanted to come in and be professional and get the job done. Referees yeah. now want to be stars, star of the show. You know, if you speak to me, any I'm going to get you a yellow card. If you yeah. behave on simply around me, I'm going to send you off. You know, I've got that power. I'm the boss here. I'm going to show. And, and, yeah. and all of that is it's absolute nonsense. And, and there, there are very few referees who, who control games, but they don't necessarily show that authority. You know, Michael Oliver is one of them. He is a great guy. Controls was, the game. Just, yeah. You know. Michael Oliver, he, he, he can have his bad days. Michael Oliver can have his bad days. I don't, but think, it's, I don't see I don't him. Think it's even possible. I don't, I don't think, think he's trying, trying to. I don't think he's trying to. You know, be the guy. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yes. So referees these he days are trying to show. I see referees tell players, "Shut up, shut up, shut up." Mm. Like, why are you telling a player to shut no, up? No, no, that's it. For me, eh, for me, it's fair game. It's fair game. Eh? It's fair game, right? Because sometimes, eh. Players are not. You see, you see, in football, eh, we, we we can't we can't afford to create a situation where because somebody's any more money than you, but are working in yeah. the same ecosystem, um, they they you cannot you cannot speak to them when they speak trash at you because the players are trash talking the referees as well, you know. Yes, sir. You know, so I'm like, you know, like keep quiet, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I rather like a player, I rather a referee tell my player, shut up, right? Than hand him a yellow card when the game is still when I know that that yellow card is going to miss you. How you yeah. get to perform with you? You get it, it, it's football. I expect football. everything that you do, every rule that you bring. I expect it to make it to make sure that it gets it, it, it gets more interesting, more competitive. On but you know you have the rules. You're, if the player trash talks the ref, the ref I, I don't mind. The ref tells the player fuck off. Get out of my face. Yeah. I don't care. As long as, as, long as, as, long as, as nobody costs you line. In, in, yeah. In, in, in defending the referees, I, I think a lot of players just go out of line. A lot yes, of I players think. just... A, a lot of players just... I was watching a European League game yesterday. I was watching a European League game yesterday. They gave a foul. I can't remember the game. They gave a foul. The referee blows a foul. The player, the opposing player doesn't agree that it's a foul. And the referee is explaining to him and he keeps talking, he keeps talking. And the referee tells him, calm down. He wouldn't stop. The referee tells him, I saw when the referee pointed, I'm going to book you. And the guy just won't stop. And now I want to collect the booking. He wants time. So, 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 you don't know so, whether so I don't play there. Just, like, a lot of players, a lot of players just push the referee to the wall. But, but, but the point is, the referee cannot be seen to trying to be a star in a football match. No. You cannot be a star in a football match. No, Keep the cannot. game going. And, and referees don't understand that sometimes. Referees need to understand that. You know, I, I said I said it a couple of weeks back that you always want referees to referee by the book. And whilst I, I say that, and in hindsight, I think about it and say, whilst I want you to referee by the books, I want you to have some sympathy too. I want you to have some, some, some humanity in you too From this when you're refereeing a thing. You know, so understand that sometimes you know, I saw a tackle, this tackle that sometimes somebody clears the ball and because he clears the ball, his foot goes up and lands on a player and you give him a red card. I know sometimes 
Why does it look they so look, horrible when placement. you slow it down? Rumble will send you Why does it look so horrible when you slow it down? Sometimes understand that this guy does not have anywhere he's going to put his leg after clearing that ball. If someone yeah. is in his sight, he's going to land on the person. So, so yeah. sometimes you want referees to be to be human, but if they say, "Oh, they're refereeing by the book," check complete. Check you know, complete. you know what pisses me off. Well, you know, you know, you know, what, you know what pisses me off the most. What pisses me off the most is that is that there's no consequence for refs. That's what pisses me off the most. Yeah. In the entire ecosystem, there's not a single professional that doesn't know that my decisions, the results that I that I uh, over that I oversee and all would be my my death if I get them wrong. I mean, yeah. when I mean death, professional. Not a single professional. Only the referees. It, 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 what, what, it, it, it's like, there's, it but doesn't matter what they get demoted, you know. Demoted, you know? Okay. They, they, they get demoted, you know, but they, they don't make it what like is it's demotion, a demotion. What is demotion when... What is the meaning of demotion? Well, I don't understand. Wait, when I'm not, demotion, when I'm not, you, go to the, you go to the lower league to officiate this weekend, you come back the next weekend, that's demotion. I don't understand. How does that make sense? You go and you have a you have a, a, a nonsense game, and then they demote you to the championship for one weekend. You come back the following yeah. week. Don't be Anthony Taylor. He get bad game. Then demote him for one weekend. He came back. They gave him Super Sunday. Chelsea Man. Uh, what's Sunday. the meaning of demotion? What what does demotion mean there? You get you just that's that's more like that's more like let's take out of the firing line. Now we will, you understand? Will, will bring you so back. The point is, the, I, 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 I agree with Rufa. The, the point is, when managers come out and lash out, you know, and rant like Ateta did, you know, they are openly charged for uh, bringing the game into disrepute. You know, and, and when when he has to sit, stand in front of the panel and explain himself, when he loses that charge, or that, that appeal or whatever, he gets fined or gets banned. I think referees should face the same thing. If they are demoting a referee, put out a statement that this referee had a horrible game last weekend and we're demoting him to the championship. I yeah, think referees, uh, referees will realize that it's a clear punishment for getting your job done badly. See, bros, if you are saying demotion, if you are saying demotion, demote him to the championship for the whole season, promote another person. Let there be actual <laughs> consequence. See, you, you get mine though. You get do mine. You know, no, now, but the referee, okay, look at look at Anthony Taylor, for example. It, mm. it, it, Anthony Taylor has a track record of yeah. ridiculous games. Yeah, I know. See, if Anthony Taylor they collect jersey or match ball for bad games, he go get one full room like this. Full. You understand? But guess what? You give him Super Sunday, right? And, and, you see that thing that Mike Dean went and did on TV? That thing, the Premier League just thought, you know, we, we, they manage the crisis and we move on. That thing, yeah, they manage, they move on. But if anything negative ever happens in the Premier League again, that thing is going to come back and hunt them. He sat on TV and said, you know, you know, very protecting my mates a little bit. They want, they want to tell him to go to, to go to the to, to go to the screens, you know. This is it. That is actually a, a huge refrain scandal. I'm telling because you. Because they, 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 they tiptoed around it and make sure that nobody included the fact that my Dean is an open sports fan. They made sure that nobody added that, that, oh, this guy is an open sports fan. And then he came on TV in a game that he, he was working at, that sports were playing, and said, no. He said, he said, my, my, my Dean is what? We've seen him openly celebrating Tottenham Hotspur. No, no, not Tottenham. That game Tottenham. where he was celebrating. No, it wasn't Tottenham. It was Tranmere. Oh, Tranmere it wasn't Robert. Tottenham. You know, it wasn't Tottenham. It's Tranmere. Okay. It's the, the, uh -huh. the club in League Two, I think. Uh -huh. My bad, then. So that thing is actually a huge refereeing scandal. But they just oh, we okay, we'll let you. Anyway, it, it does it's, 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 it's crazy. crazy. I know when 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 you see that you know when you know obviously they didn't expect managers want to say it, but they don't want to get into trouble. The way Ateta put it, you know, the stakes are so high. In case you people don't realize that players come train Mondays to Saturday, yep. walk their socks off, 
practice. If you are going to lose a game, lose the game fair and square. You know, lose a game that you were beaten by a team better than you. Managers, and I think I said it, I think I said it, when we're not good enough, I'm the first to admit we're not good enough. But not to lose a game because somebody did not do their jobs right. And, yeah. and that, that when, when they come to talk about it, they don't make it look like it is that serious. They don't they make, don't make it, it look, look like, like that. that. No, they don't make it look like, they just feel like, oh, it's just... Yeah, oh, you know, you can move on. You know, you, see, it's, you know the one where they pay me pass? That one they say, it's not a howler. What is the meaning? Somebody has to lost three points and you said it's not a howler. What is you the understand? meaning of a howler? Does somebody need to die before you, you realize that I you lost you somebody with three points? Now, I want to ask you, I beg. That leave I meant to a PSG. Is that a penalty or not? It's not a penalty. It cannot why? be a penalty. It's why? not. You know why? why? Because the ball hits a player. Number one, proximity. Number one, let, let's even say the ball went from the player's foot to Livermento's hand. Proximity between the player who kicked the ball and the player defending. How is that a penalty? Let's even say the ball did not hit his body. The ball goes straight to his hand. How do you give that penalty? 50-50, maybe. But the fact that the ball hit his body and that's my only his hand. That that's my only that can never be a penalty. That's that, that, that's that's my that's my only thing. Like the ball hit his body Amy, for it. I just want to be sure. Let me ask this question so that in the future we we'll know where we are. So what you're saying in essence is that even if a player has their arm out and it makes them bigger. Wait, let me finish my question. Okay. I just want to ask questions. Even if the player has their arm out, does he? Are you saying that if the ball comes off their body before it hits the arm, it can never be a penalty? It can never the be the direction foul. of the ball. The direction of the ball for something to be a penalty, there has mm. to be a clear intention that, or, or the, it has to be a clear motion that the ball was going in a particular direction and your hand stopped it from going there. Mm. That has to be it. But if the ball was going in a different direction and hits up your body and hits your hand, it cannot be a penalty. Players are not. Let me just ask now. So, so what you're saying is that like the players cannot be the player in and emotion. Out. Players cannot be in emotion and be putting their hands on their side. There is no, it is not happening. If you, even if you jog, even if when you are jogging, when you are jogging intensely, your hands cannot be on your side. There has to be something moving. And that's how when yeah. players play football, in the heat of the moment, they're trying to defend. They shape to defend. It is, I thought that decision, it was scandalous. It just felt like they wanted PSG not to lose the game. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway. what is this guy? Last so many handball. Is that a penalty? That's a penalty. I, 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 I didn't see that. I didn't, no, no, you didn't. No, I saw it. They the wanted the first half. The one in yeah. the first half, no, it yeah. wasn't a penalty. It wasn't that a penalty. Was over. Stop it. By the way, man, you were wrong. Way, come on, the, war, like this. the war was not, by the way, the war was not long enough, was not far enough. You see, the man. This talk go the man. Go, go, give us a full day, go catch the ball. <laughs> like, you see, yeah, he said the war was not long enough. Go give us a full catch, I said the war was not no. long enough. No. You know no. that <laughs> if the war was not long enough, you don't know that if the war was not long enough, it is to your advantage. No, Baba. <laughs> the rules. We must see, eh? see, you see that Liverpool game. That, you see that Liverpool game, man. Eh? That Liverpool game was a seismic change in how the VAR, you know, goes through a goal, right? Yeah, of course. Confirm, of course. This, uh, confirm to me that this is this. Check. Great. Confirm. What is the opposition? Check. I can confirm that I've heard you, right? I, so, I know. I know it wasn't like that before. It wasn't. It wasn't, like, it wasn't that. like that before, right? Because now, the VAR fit the press phone like this. If it the press phone, yeah, it like this. Something just something just happened. If it the press phone like this, something just happened, and it just looks feel. It just ah. looks. You don't check. Is a check complete? Check complete, uh, but big, 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 what, what are you checking? You know. <laughs> so I believe. I believe that you see. We can the, the rules. The, the rules of the game eh, need need revising and reeducating. You know, yeah. there needs to be a reorientation on the rule on the on the existing rules of the game. Right, but but, because, but but guess what, guys? Guess what, guys? I don't know if you follow Spanish league and Italian leagues. You know the news coming out from from the VAR controversy that happened in England. 
they are like this. The rest of the world is like this. Yes, now. As in, week in, week out. And I follow Italian football a lot. And I see, you know, they are not perfect. You know, they want to the while they get into trouble with Mourinho. But the truth of the matter is that the referees there, they check everything. Check everything. They check. They overcheck. Recheck. That's what I'm saying. That's because what I'm saying. they don't want people... To, because you don't want to be on the bad side of Mourinho because Mourinho will give you... You know they see those graphics where... You know they see those graphics where La Liga they get, eh? Like sporting, they don't put graphics. Sporting, they don't put they don't put uh, oh, uh gra gra no gra graphics for La Liga and you know? So graphics so, for La Liga like and this, uh, this uh, United World thing, right? It was being sports, their own studio technology that found out that look, oh, this line, this you know, so these are things that because you know football, football is cultivating a new fan base. You know, the mm. Jesus are coming in. You know, they just can't watch the game. They don't necessarily understand. You know, back in the day, we used to read the rule of the game. There used to be a pamphlet. You know, that will go look at yeah. the argument. Say, this is the rule of this world states. You know, so these new fans that are coming, they don't necessarily know the rule of the game. They, they know the basic ones outside, but they don't know what it states. What I think FIFA, UEFA, the FAs should do is to reorientate on the rules of the game. Yeah, true. You understand? I, I agree. I agree. You know, you know because I, so, it broke. I, I, I talked with some journalists and we we're, were arguing football in the, in the WhatsApp group, and I'm like, Without being disrespectful, you shouldn't be calling yourself a journalist. You don't know, the, don't game. know the basic rules of the game. The rules of, you don't know the basic rules of the game. Basic rules of the game. Because you're supposed to be how Chelsea you know, is there. Mean you should be Chelsea senseless. Is the they can't, they can't so Brewers go. It wasn't offside. They threw the ball. They threw the ball. There was in his hand. <laughs> yeah. I, th I tell you that they say no, they're offside now. Throw yeah, it was in his hand. <laughs> You understand? Throwing, oh, throwing. Ridiculous. Throwing. <laughs> right, we went in the professional game. All the officials, they don't know, say, throwing. In, what so do you think? No, no, no. Like, no, no, no. For me, for me, it goes back to that thing you said. There has to be consequences, very heavy saying. consequences for, for actions from this referee. But before, before you know, you think about when, when a referee realizes that, and, and, and you know, you don't need to demote a referee. I, I think the, the referees are not on retainership. They are on, I think, Pay as you go, you know. I think yeah. you pay them as you are, as you are officiating. Yeah. If a referee, if a referee gets a decision badly wrong, I know referees can make mistakes, and we have to still allow them to to be yeah. humans and make mistakes. Yeah. Referees can make honest mistakes, but when a referee yeah. makes a mistake that was from a position of negligence. Or not just being thorough with his job because the wrestling job is a thorough job. And yeah. when the VAR came, we're very excited because we thought people, someone is going to sit in front of a monitor and be, you know, have the hindsight of seeing something again. Somebody said putting a hand, two hands on Gabriel's back, there's no evidence to show it was a foul. It's okay, we're not arguing, it's gone. You know, somebody sits in front of a monitor. And can be able to help the other person. But English referees have turned it to want to help our mate out there. Yeah. Men supporting yeah, men. I, I, I see what I'm having great. God bless you. They've turned it to want to help uh, our guys. Wolves manager. Not actually. Wolves manager. Help the game. Came out the manager, uh, Gary Neal, came out and said, they have cost us seven points already. We've played only 13 matches. Seven points already. If Wolves get relegated at the end of the season, now somebody's and they've called him to after the game on against Fulham on Monday. The guy went into the room with the referee and we we're having a back and forth. And the referee was explaining to him, explaining to him why this this decision. He said he kept asking him one after the other why he made this decision. Then you know the analyst in the Sky Studio Sports Studio was saying we have to have these referees after the game sit in front of a camera, let yep. journalists probe them. Let, ask let them ask questions. Them. Let, let's ask them questions. By the time they feel the heat of how, you know, how many, when managers, you know, it's easy to win a football match, sit in front of the media yeah. and have a good time. When you lose a football match and you've capitulated and you have to sit in front of the media and the English media are, those guys are demons. You sit in front yeah. of those guys and they have to probe you. You know, somebody will ask you a question. You know, you sometimes know, you know, they are just in that. They are very deliberate. Someone so, will ask you a question. 
because they just want a reaction from you. They want they want stories, obviously. They want to put out stories. Referees have got to go through the same thing. They have to sit in front of a camera with people in the room, asking them one after the other, probing them one after the other. By the time a referee feels the heat of sitting in front of that thing for 30 minutes, when he goes home and he wants to officiate the next game, he will not want that. Do you yeah, know what will happen? Do you know what will happen? People, people, that, people that will disagree with what you just said will tell you, oh, you want to, you want to add, there will be, there will be undue pressure. You want to add more pressure on undue pressure. Referee. Get the fucking job done. Wait. Get Wait the to... fucking job done. Say, you've cost say, me. You've cost say, me the Premier League title last season. Say, <laughs> say they, they want to, you want to begin to put pressure. My guy, get the fuck. What that means, what that would do is that the only people that would remain in the job are the best people that can handle the situation. If you Ooh. cannot handle a press conference after a game, you are not fit to be a rep in a, a league as high as as the as Premier League. Simple. 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 Short, bro. Simple and short. Simple and short. Simple and short, man. Why do players, why do players, a player runs for, a player runs for 97 <laughs> minutes, has lost the game. He gets. But the rule says he has to face the media. So do a, 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 you know, you know how hard that is. You can't yes, put a microphone in his in his face after he just ran his life. No, 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 no. Do you know that? Honestly, literally, after he just put his life on the line, you go and put you a microphone to... in his face uh, and be asking him stupid and nonsense questions. <laughs> you get so that's it, man. But you should that's handle it. it. But the referees yeah. cannot. Guys, uh, if, you're, if you're watching the pod, uh, please jump in on the conversation. Let us know uh, what you make of all of these things, all these um, this ref- this issues on the referees and all that stuff. Um, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up uh, with the games coming up this weekend. Um, where, where, where are we with um, with with Chelsea? Let's touch Chelsea and, and Tottenham. You know, I said it before that, you know, I was telling I was telling if I was in Abuja over the, over the weekend, that's why I had to buy, you know, new new pots. I lost my pots, you know. Um, and did did did, did you bring Kilishi? Omo, they say we get on for sure Kilishi people. I know see, I know see. <laughs> <laughs> Those people know that that place where we go, that they know they're there again. I know see them for them, man. I went, I went, I was in Abuja in September. I was in Abuja in September. My 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 wife and sister I had to go. So I went to Wuse Market and I bought Kilishi plenty like this. Nice, you know. Really. Yeah, you got a nice, 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 nice cool place. Like nice, nice, nice cool place. You can nice, nice, nice cool nice, nice, chop Kilishi like this, eh? You go see Kilishi that you go vex. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, you know, I was telling you that um the best managers, and this thing uh, it sounds like a broken record on this podcast, the best managers figure out this game, they see the game, they see the game for what it is, right? Um, and the game for what it actually is, is that when you spend your 15, 20 years as a manager, you make it that long. When you when you finally say you're not doing it anymore, the most important thing uh, is that small, shiny medal. And that's yeah. that Adobe, Adobe Excel sheet that says, you know, Four Premier League titles, three three times, you know, four FA Cups. That's what you don't see that. You don't see that at uh, that which is the Mourinho Football dot com ad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Mad, mad. Yes, sir. Mad thing. Is that is yeah. that is that? Le- no, be, no, be, there are very few people who go do that kind of advert. That's but, so, so you, if so they put what you for that advert, they go just put them passing by. You know, we we'll talk anything. <laughs> what would you say? What, what would you say? So I've coached you know, Messi. You don't get out. You know, I I coach I coach some of the most exciting high scoring games. Come on, get out. Come on, get out of that place. You, that place. <laughs> you get. Most so, of so, so, left the WhatsApp group. And hey, you know, I just came out. This this Poskoglu, Poskoglu um guy. Uh, you know, uh, I like. Maybe come on. Is it is it is it? I was about to respect Rebels. I'm like this guy. Okay. This guy should be a Galian counselor. You know, the guy. <laughs> The guy's ideal, the guy's idea of life, you know, you know, you get the guy's way of seeing life is brilliant. But you see, football, eh? You have to slightly deviate from from idealism and face the reality. Yeah, right. Course. And that's what people like Mourinho 
to get up very early. The whole money thing, eh? Is sweet, but he goes stop. Yeah, where he goes stop to the sweet. You understand? Of course. Chelsea yes, Porto, we the press, we the play, gang, 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 gang. I come Chelsea. Ah, this players are playing more like Chelsea Porto team. I got a job last time, right? Mm -hmm. I go around my face. This ones, they just have a whole ball. But you see that fast break, you Sabia. This Postecoglou guy, they've lost three in a, three in a row now. I was telling Rufai that what you would have with Postecoglou, eh, is that make that for this weekend. High scoring Man game, very entertaining game. Premier League will like them. Man City you know, straight win and over 2.5. You know, <laughs> but in the end, in the end, when season finished, they realize that almost all those... To what end? To what end? So, that's so what, that's what, we're, we're saying this thing when, when Chelsea beat them. And I said, this guy has gone nine men down and two, two players out and he's playing the high line. He comes after the game and says, I'm that's not going to change my style for nothing. That's what we are. You know, last season, last season when we played Man City, because our game was rescheduled, we we're supposed to play Man City in, I think, Queen December. Yeah. We couldn't play, so they had to move the game. I think they would play it in April or uh, March or something. And I think that went toe to toe with Man City and they beat us 3 1. This season, we went into that Man City game and the way Arsenal played, they could have played that game for three days and Man City won't score. Because I think that was ready to play in near near. He was ready. It was like, yes, these guys are beating yes, you sir. all the time. I'm not just these guys going to are lose. Time. We die here. Don't lose. Do not lose. It's a mentality. That's our Do not first, lose. That's our first Let's, foundation. Don't lose. Let's play nil-nil. You get a rub of the green at the other end. You score one. You win the game. Brilliant smash and grab. And that you... is... Let's, no, let's, give, let's give credit where it is due. That is a direct full chapter in the playbook of Monsieur... Jose Mourinho. Thank you very much. You, can Benny, you cannot, Benny. you cannot, you cannot be, you cannot be idealistic all the time. It's exciting. It looks good. You know, people will give you props. Every day they I said, bro, calm down. Is it this problem? Did you listen to me? Did you listen to me? I was watching Luton Town, Luton Town Crystal Palace last week. See, to win three points in the Premier League, you see when Man City they win match every week. They didn't win match because they get players, they get money. Pep go sell marriage, buy dog food, buy village, they keep for bench. You get money. When you see a Premier League club like Luton Town scrap for three points, these yeah. players play like they want to die, like their lives depend on. Before they go see three points, three points. Before they see three points like this, then they play like they won't die. When you come to the Premier League, the reality is that you cannot come and say, Oh, I'm going to play the way I like. You are going to get found out. It's the you see that? The and you see that? Uh, the I promise but you. But they go beat the guy for this league. You go understand. I promise you. Know? you. So what's how do you name? go from? How do you go from your best, from the best start of any Premier League team in Premier League history, right, to losing three point three games on the bounce? Did they play right. Manchester this weekend? Make that for this. You week. see that this uh, company. I promise you, Nagajola. Uh, Mikla <laughs> goodwill in the enjoy. That was a company. Now I, uh, I'm telling you, now that Gadjola, uh, that extension of oh Gadjola uh, for us, that would see the enjoy. He go there, alright. Because he idiots, he don't there now. He won't really get the team back. They don't start narrating. <laughs> Say Burnley will be wrong to fire him because if they go down, they can never find somebody better to bring them back up. I say, oh, so all of a sudden we are okay with somebody that. Got promoted to get relegated back. They have plenty. David Wagner, that former that uh, one uh, Norwich, right Norwich. Uh, uh, Ra Ra uh, Daniel Faka, that uh, that Faka and Norwich. Uh, that uh, Faka and Norwich. David that Wagner, one is the championship one. now. And Faka is in the championship. He's doing uh, well with Leeds. Yeah, he get one thing where you rub people. But so Bosa, Bosa come from my league. The hell are they say? Ah, oh! they get they fly. The big. <laughs> David, they, beat, they sack him last last. They sack their savior. See, you get with you, Yoruba people, they talk. See, they say, I ain't share, I ain't share, or look where they You know what they mean? They say, you know what? This is where they talk, say, village people. They say, village people, they, they say, village people, I ain't pursue this person, village people. They say, I ain't share. I say, what? This what people, now they on top of your matter. You go, they take blood on it. That's what it means, literally. Say, what people, witches, and wizards, the 
powers that be of this world, they are on top of your matter. You they live, but you don't, you go to take blood tonic to solve uh, your issue. Uh, <laughs> that if you want to worry for Sikoglu. For yeah. Sikoglu, no, no, say, now Premier League, the situation of the Premier League, now in the role of for next. Then the hell uh, are they happy? They, 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 my, my philosophy. My and, philosophy. And, 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 you know, football, you know, football, football, and I think I want to attack now, football, football competitors. You know, we'll soon let you go. So we'll soon wrap it up. Football competitors and, you know, and shooting goal posts. And then what am I going to right game? They say, man, say this has been a masterclass in attacking, but defensively, the teams is do better. I say, say this is a poor defensive showing. Yeah. I say, you guys, I say, I say, guys, 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 what to choose, what to choose which one we want. All year long, you keep telling me about how football is a game of goals and all we want to see. Mm. Chelsea Man City for here, they say fantastic play. advertisement for the Premier League. You get <laughs> but they say, they say, they say, they say, they say coach, the coaches have to be better defensively. They have to work on the training ground defensively. I say, ah, I thought you guys said that defensive coaching is, is a no no. It has no place in the game. They go there, all right. You know, they go there, you know. Right. So, <laughs> it's a big problem. They say, they say, talk to the Demons this weekend. I said, that's high line. That high line. Now nah, I want against high line. Go and do it. Oh, God. I will play over <laughs> 4.5. Go and do that, man. <laughs> That go and do it, man. Go, go to it. If you see Liverpool last week, Liverpool they defend deep. I Liverpool yeah. they defend deep because if you don't, don't defend that deep against that, we are a dog. That highlight I want. That highlight I want. Go. Play that. You see what they did? You see what they did? What they did? In it. It's nice that you mentioned it. You see what they did? They, that defend deep. Where they defend deep. Now I make Doku was always meeting new bodies. If you go back, yes, now you go meet another person. Yes, now. There was never a time no, you go, go past go one person. Team, I will have to play play high, high line. They will pick. Now Van Dijk tell him. Now Van Dijk tell the coach. Say, coach, we know if he's at the high line today. <laughs> no, no, you can't do, do high line, line against Doku. Oh my God! When you go and no, play no, no. Crystal Palace, you do it. Luton Town, Aston Villa, all those ones. Another team, another team will go soon. Call it Aston Villa. Another team will go soon. Call it Aston Villa. They do. They do high line. Una Emery, Una Emery has has put. There's a start I saw offside. Now, if you want to, if you have a betting, uh, a, a bookie that they put offside in their betting, every time Man Aston Villa play over 6.5 offside in a match, Aston Villa, Unamere has a record. I think the start is 159 offside. They, they played the opponent 159 times offside. The second highest is 90-something in the Premier League. They play high line like they are playing with children. They go soon collect. No worry. They go, they, no. They, 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 they sweep them for body. If they sweep uh, them for body, they go soon collect. That's why they, that's why they do not qualify for Europe. Eh? Yeah. That's, why, that's why they do not qualify for Europe. But you, know why, you, know you know why Postikoglu own? You know why Postikoglu own? Just they very stupid. I don't think they're not angry. <laughs> Could do that nonsense for Stiko do with two players out. That thing, that thing. If you if you don't they watch football for a long time, that thing that thing was an eyesore. If you cry, all of them. And, and you know the funny thing. You know, you know, it's when you have good players, when you have lead, leaders on the pitch, when you have leaders on the pitch. Sometimes you, a manager says, you, "You just have to be sensible. <laughs> you have to be sent on the pitch." We'll tell the manager. We will tell the players we can't do this thing. It's ridiculous. When you see what you see what you John Terry. You see what John Terry talk for that. What did John Terry talk for that interview? He said when Benitez come, Benitez was not playing him. Obviously, he was not happy. The players was ah, JT is not playing. What's going on here? They were not happy. Uh, this guy talk him. But when John Terry said they lost to whether as uh, uh, Man City for that FA Cup, I've been watching lost. She has then lose the game. Benita has entered dressing room. Say, you know, it's okay. We're playing in the Premier League next weekend. John Terry has not been playing, though, since he came. He said, we lose in the FA, FA Cup to Man City or one small team. And you are coming to the dressing room. Say, you know, it's okay. We're playing next weekend. John Terry stands up and says, what do you mean? Say, that's not okay. If, if it's okay anywhere you're coming from, that's not okay here. Say, you lost of course it's not. in the FA Cup. It's not. John Terry said, they almost fought. So as we was saying, that's not okay here. Yeah, he was walking towards the guy. The guy was walking towards him. 
So other players, people have to get in the midst of it. Okay, okay. You don't lost to this person. I say it's okay. I said okay. Person will they be so coach they tell you, coach they tell you, say, heal yourself, collect six nil, play high line, and you are on the pitch, you are listening to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now see no players because I don't want to walk. No, that one will work for you. That one will work. Never work. So let's just do quick predictions, right? Newcastle United, who's gonna win? Newcastle my you. Wow. I think it will be a draw. Mm. Draw. Mm. Okay. Where's the game? Uh, is that uh, Newcastle? The game? Is that Newcastle? Newcastle? Draw. I think I think United United play well away from home. They play better when they're away. Mm. Right. Uh, Arsenal will. Arsenal win. Both teams will score. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> Brentford Luton. Brentford win. Straight win. Burnley Sheffield. Burnley win. Burnley win. Burnley win. Plus over 10 corners. <laughs> nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Oh, that's it. That, that big odd be that too. Over 10 corners. Eh? Yeah, in it. <laughs> Don't worry now. For, for, Forrest Everton. Forrest Everton. Everton to win. Mm. Away. It's nice. Away. Everton um, to win. Bournemouth, Aston Villa. Bournemouth, Aston Villa. Aston Villa to win. Chelsea, Brighton. Ooh, Chelsea to win. Me, media won't. Media won't. They won't come out. They won't excuse us. Maybe we don't like saying we don't talk about them again. They all locked up. You don't, you don't, you don't see how they deserve to win my for new guy for not your boys. If he charge like say you don't win league, you don't, you don't see, you don't see. <laughs> but you don't tell him. Liverpool, you know, Liverpool, you know, Liverpool. Oh, 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 who, who wins? Who wins? Who wins? Win. Three points. Liverpool, Fulham. Liverpool win. Oh, who wins? Chelsea, win. Brighton. Chelsea, beat Brighton. Liverpool, Fulham. Chelsea. Easy win. Chelsea, Liverpool. West Ham Palace. Palace. West Ham. Both teams to score. Man City, Tottenham. Man City to win plus over 3.5 goals. I agree. I agree. Rufa, I take off you say we have a goal. Please go have a goal at the NTR. I take me. We have a goal in Halal. Arsenal will provide. Arsenal to win. Both teams to score. Brentford, Luton. Uh, Brentford. Burnley, Sheffield. Draw. I think so too. Everything aware at Forest. Both teams to score. Newcastle United. Ah! Come on, that game draw is written all over it. Newcastle win or draw. Bournemouth, Aston Villa. Bournemouth, Aston Villa to win. Chelsea at home to Brighton. Chelsea win or draw. Liverpool, Fulham. I live up straight away. West Ham Palace. I think Palace will win. City, Tottenham. Oh, yeah. Manchester City to win. And I was I said over 2.5 before, but I think yeah, let me remain over 2.5. Man City had over 2.5. Because that was the Kobe now. These three losses back to back. If you go there, go defend. But you know, they didn't the If you go get sense. All right, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching the podcast. We're very close to where we're working on the studio. Um, I know it sounds like a broken record, but yeah, we're, we're working on it. Um, and hopefully we can be back, we can make a first recording at the end of the year. So that would be nice. Um, thank you so much. I really want to say happy new month to everybody. Uh, we made it to December uh, 2023. Not easy. Well, just yesterday we we're saying happy new year to each other. So um, um, be grateful, be happy, and uh, anything we know in your life will still be, right? Same for all of us here. Um, I saw a lot of people post up on Spotify as um, the Hindsight Podcast being inside the Spotify, you know, top listens, top playlists and everything like that. Thank you so, so much. Uh, in a year that we've had some, you know, some turbulence, but I um, promise you we'll never stop and we'll keep going, yeah? I met a guy in Abuja who actually, you know, walked up to me and told me, 
Um, he watched and listens. You listen to the very first episode of the Hindsight Podcast. I was working on stage and he just walked up to me. Shout out to you, man. Emmanuel, thank you so much for all the love. And um, we'll, we'll be here, yeah? Cheers, everybody. Leave a comment. Leave a like as well. Any thanks. Um, luckily, thanks. I'll see you guys very soon. Wally, take it away. Yep, Bye. Yep.